A big change for Long Island Railroad riders. Today, they'll be able to cut down their commute and ride the train right to Grand Central on the east side. CBS News' Jenna DeAngelis was there to see the first train arrive this morning. Jenna? And Chris, Governor Hochul joined riders on that first train arriving here. As you know, this has been a long time coming, more than two decades in the making and more than $11 billion spent, but the day is finally here. Long Island commuters can finally ride to Manhattan's east side. It took too long, but great things come to those who wait, right? <laughs> Latoya Johnson is among LIRR riders who say this was worth the wait, making for a much easier commute. I usually take it to 34th Street, but now that it's going to Grand Central, it should be a better task. The new terminal is along Madison Avenue between 43rd and 48th Streets. The MTA says about 45% of Long Island Railroad commuters are expected to travel here, making for less crowding at Penn Station. I think it's wonderful. It helps the commuters get to where they have to go, and it's fast. A 22-minute ride from Jamaica, to be exact. The first train left Jamaica at 10:45 this morning with Governor Kathy Hochul on board. It was quite a journey to get here. I'm not talking about the 22-minute ride from Jamaica Station. I'm literally talking about something that started under eight of my predecessor governors. According to the MTA, trains will operate between 6.15 a.m. and 8 p.m. on weekdays and from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekends. Trains are expected to run every 30 minutes in both directions during the week and once an hour on the weekends. Expect limited service for at least the first three weeks, but the MTA says when it initiates full schedules, LIRR train service will increase by 41 percent. This project brings Long Island closer to the heart of New York City. The governor said it will be about three to four weeks before that full service is rolled out. The MTA has customer ambassadors here to help riders navigate this new space. We're live at Grand Central Madison, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS2 News. Beautiful spot. Okay, Jenna, thank you.